Welcome everyone to in India Japan Agri online mission. Thank you very much for joining us today. I'm Shiho Sakaguchi, partner and founder of Hostry Impact. And today I'm the coordinator and facilitator between you and the speakers. Today we have a special guest for opening remarks. Anjana san, could you introduce the special guest to everybody? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. It's my privilege to introduce Dr. S. Devarajan. Uh, Dr. S. De Devarajan is from industrial engineering background and manufacturing system engineering. He's been awarded Rolls-Royce Award for Excellence in Manufacturing Concepts and Implementation in UK. Uh, Dr. Devarajan has been heading the Advanced Manufacturing and Production Engineering in TVS Motors Presently, he is concentrating on lean management, automation, digital manufacturing, and sustainability at TVS Motors. Thank you very much for your presence, sir. May I request you for the opening remarks, sir? Uh, uh, thank you very much for this uh, inviting me for this uh, webinar. I heard a lot of things about uh, the webinars being held. And the most important is water. Uh, water is one of the most abundantly found in as a natural resource. Without water, life on the earth is impossible. Water is an essential substance for all living organisms. But let us look at the practical availability and usage of water. So let us look at the practical availability and usage of water. Uh, water makes around 70% of the earth's crust. It is a prime resource, which is found on and under the water, underground. Most of the warm of them, of 97%, is in sea. In this 3%, most of the water is in the form of glaciers or in terms of the, um, uh, in uh, glaciers or the ice caps and the groundwater on 20%. So the only available water is 1%. You should understand this particular thing very important. 1% is available for us. So what do we do to take care of this? Is it enough for us? Is it enough for the population? What we have is an important question. We always have to deal with it. But this 1% is available only for domestic consumption and for the entire agricultural purposes also. United Nations statistics shows more than 2 billion people are water stressed. And 80% of the waste water goes in drain without adequate treatment. In 2015, more than 2.3 billion still lacked the basic sanitation. So what is important is uh, adequate treatment and recycling of waste water is the most sustainable way, which is very, very essential in today's context for us to survive. In today's seminar, uh, deal with interesting topics called domestic multi cycle recycler with a unique Japanese way of recycle technology using anaerobic filters, which does not require electricity to clean the domestic wastewater and recycle for agriculture and gardening use. It also aims at promoting sustainable farming practice by improving soil fertility with a compost made of the sludge from the So it's going to be a very, very interesting session today. And uh, JECA is supporting this initiative and they experimented in Gujarat and India. Coming back to what we have done in TVS Motor, and all of you are well company, means that more than we draw in water. So a lot of initiatives are taken for the rain bias. So it's most important we learn about the new technology like DMR, which does not require LCT. Definitely we'd like to learn more about it. This is under SDG 6, clean water and sanitation towards achieving the objective of UN Sustainable Development Goal. That is by 2030, all people enjoy peace and prosperity. So let us look forward for more of this. 
and all Japanese teams are welcome to come to TVS Motor and we'd like to share, understand, learn from each other as what is the most important resource for all of us. And like what Janikram did mention, if there's a world war next, it's going to be for water. So let us prevent it. Let's enable us along with the wastewater treatment, rainwater harvesting, and many other initiatives. Let us look forward by the 2030 as per the SDC 6 norms. Let's have people enjoy peace and prosperity. So once again, we look forward for working very closely with JICA and, and with the IKGCI more and more. And we hope forward, looking forward for this very good seminar. Thank you very much. Thank you. Arigata Gudemasta. So now uh, let us welcome the presenter today. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce Mr. Shigeyuki Hamai, Representative Director, Kansai Kako Shigo at DD. Uh, for many years, he has been taking a key role in Kansai Kako's water treatment business and has been leading business development abroad. Kansai Kako was established in 1983 in Osaka, Japan. Started business as a manufacturer of water treatment related components. The company manufactures and sells the original products which are researched and developed in-house based on its experience and achievements. In order to contribute the SDD 6 United Nations Social Development Goal 6, Clean Water and Sanitation. He aims to develop and promote the products uh, which improve uh, water and sanitation environment in emerging and developing countries overseas, a so-called domestic multi-recycler, DMR. DMR has been experimented in the Ekrara village in Gujarat which achieved 90% or more removal rate of BOD, uh, biological oxygen, oxygen demand, under the project of JICA. JICA is a Japan International Cooperation Agency. Firstly, we introduce our company again briefly. We have developed and produced a lot of PVC products for wastewater treatment for over 40 years. And we have produced sludge recycling system. Sludge is generated during wastewater treatment process. Sludge is usually discarded or burned in Japan. So we developed sludge recycling system. And now we use our technologies that we have cultivated for a long time. We developed a new domestic wastewater treatment and recycling system without electricity. DMR does not require electricity. DMR can treat domestic wastewater, such as toilet, kitchen, laundry wastewater. After treating wastewater, treated water is used for agriculture or garden, and the sludge is generated during treatment. It's removed from DMR and be composted and used as fertilizers. They are very good advantage of DMR. DMR can treat one cubic meter wastewater in a day. Body material is FRP or HDPE. The potential targets of DMR are areas where there is no sewage and no wastewater treatment system in, such as urban areas, suburban areas, and rural areas. DMR can be replaced from septic tanks that are not functioning. Under toilets, there are septic tanks and two or one pit latrines. Many of them have not been sludge removed and have not been treated. If the sludge is not removed, the tank will accumulate sludge and the water that enters the tank will just be passed over the top and out without any treatment. The tank is not functioning and even though sludge is removed, almost sludge is improperly disposed of. This leads to contamination 
and can cause waterborne infections. On the other hand, DMR makes effective use of sludge, so there is no need to worry about sludge treatment. About running costs, DMR does not require electricity, so DMR does not cost electricity. On the other hand, Jokaso is Japanese traditional domestic wastewater treatment system. In India, recently, the number of Jokasos installed is increasing. Jokaso needs a grower for aeration, so it needs electricity cost. DMR is very eco-friendly system, so DMR is suitable to achieve the SDG6. SDG6 is that clean water and sanitation sustainable development goals. DMR users can do maintenance easily. Sludge generated in DMR is removed about once a year with a manual pump. Basically, by DMR users, the sludge is removed. It is not so hard work. After removing sludge, they are put into a composter and mixed with organic matters like vegetables, fruits, waste, and leaves. They are fermented and turned into organic fertilizers. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your presentation. Yeah, uh, thank you, Sakaguchi-san. Let's move on to the next question here. The similar questions are, uh, when is it available in India? Can it be deployed in the villages? And um, can we have a demo exhibit in Bangalore, Karnataka? This is, I think, important for the viewers here. <laughs> え、まだ今見てなんですけども。入れるとこ。はい。もし入れるところがもし、え、ここならその後ということであれば、検討させていただきます。で、田舎の方で入れられますかいうことは、ま、田舎の方で、ま、入れる、ま、目的であれなんで
one providing uh, clean water another one is to make uh, the environment uh, good for everybody in india you have uh, many issues of uh, not only getting clean water but also the water which is coming out of houses in many places are not treated well so i think this provides a excellent solution and more importantly it does not require any energy i think there is a huge scope for uh, individual houses in semi urban areas uh, suburban areas and rural areas to use this structure thank you so uh, now uh, we have come to the time to close this session um, i'm so grateful to uh, everyone um, and uh, 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 today uh, we had a very good discussion and i believe that we are taking an important step to take india japan business relationship forward at each time of this uh, series of webinars thank you so much uh, for your participation and uh, uh, i look i look forward to meeting you again the next session thank you